just transpired. First of all, Dustin Hopkins on the extra point knocked it through. But Ooh, so, yeah, he makes the kick, and then you see him jump up, writhing in pain, it looks like, holding that right hamstring. Dustin Hopkins, an NFL kicker, fights off a hamstring injury to kick the winning field goal for the LA Chargers against the Denver Broncos. Hopkins, who actually injured his hamstring after kicking the first extra point of the game, went on to kick four total field goals from 37, 31, 35, and then 39 yards for the winning field goal. Hopkins stated in his post-game interview that after kicking the extra point, he felt a pop in his hamstring and that it was all downhill from there. The Chargers actually even tweeted mid-game that he was questionable to return, but it seems like he did. Let's take a look at what happened. And he has joined he's about to just transpired. First of all, Dustin Hopkins on the extra point knocked it through. But then... Ooh, so yeah, he makes the kick and then you see him jump up writhing in pain. It looks like holding that right hamstring. Immediately grabbed the back of his right leg. He missed last week with a right quad strain. So with that, yeah, you can definitely tell he tweaked something in his hamstring during that kick. Hopkins is on the sideline, and J.K. Scott, the punter, will kick it off. 37-yard try. It is good. Yeah, if you see, he actually goes down right to the ground after taking that kick. It almost like he goes on a knee from the paint. Let's see if they zoom in closer. He's able to sneak it through. Oh, he went down to the ground right after he kicked it as well. But good enough to knock it in from 37 yards away. Yeah, so this is definitely a sign of some sort of hamstring injury. How severe? It's unclear right now but if you tweak your hamstring or have some sort of tear or bruising you're gonna have that posterior thigh pain and especially engaging in a force like kicking a football is definitely gonna cause a stabbing or severe pain each time you do that if you've just recently tweaked it Yeah, you see he falls down again. He's definitely tough because he went four for four. Seemed to not affect his accuracy, although I'm sure it was hurting. So the hamstring is actually a muscle group composed of three separate muscles. This includes the semimembranosus, the semitendinosus, and then the biceps femoris, which actually can be broken down further into the long head and the short head. So if we take a look at our complete anatomy tool and zoom in here, I've highlighted the semimembranosus on the right hamstring, which is gonna be more medial. Then you have the semitendinosus, and then you have the long head of the biceps femoris, and then you can't really see it good in this view, but there will be a short head of the biceps femoris as well. And these three muscles are what make up what someone would colloquially call the hamstring. And it's pretty common if you injure your hamstring that you're going to feel some sort of sharp pain in the back of your thigh. You may even hear or feel a popping sensation doesn't always mean that something was torn or, or popped, but that is a sensation that you might feel when you hurt your hamstring. Now, clinically, there are three grade types to a hamstring injury. So your grade one is going to be a mild injury or strain that's likely going to heal in days to weeks. A grade two injury can include a partial tear in the muscle and is likely going to be associated with some limping around. You're going to feel that twinge feeling and it can definitely linger and persist for longer than weeks. 
And grade three is when there is a complete muscle tear or tear at an attachment site, and this can take months to heal. So non-operative treatments for hamstring injuries would include resting, icing, taking pain medications like NSAIDs as needed, as well as physical therapy with stretching and strengthening those muscles. In some cases, and for high-level athletes, you can also consider things like doing a PRP injection, which will aid in the healing process. Surgical management will be necessary when there is potentially a complete tear or an avulsion injury in which the hamstring is completely ripped off from the attachment. All right, let's see if Dustin Hopkins hits the game winner. And it's good. Talk about clutch. Awesome. So congrats to Dustin on that great performance. Congrats to the Chargers on the win. Hopefully Dustin feels better soon and get some rest on that hamstring.